Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ketwul from the Power of the Jedi line. Now, as always, if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it really helps out the channel. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's packaging. Here it is. It's pretty standard for the Power of the Jedi lineup. It does have Obi-Wan and Darth Vader up here in the corner. And then it's got this huge cutout here on the side, which displays this little info packet. We'll go ahead and run through this here. It does have an image of the character here on the front. And on the inside, it's got just a ton of what I assume uh, is just sort of made up information to make this character a little bit more interesting. Um, sort of an interesting pack-in that they were doing during this time. When you flip it around onto the back, you can see some of the other figures that were released around this same time. And then this is really just a description of the line itself. So overall, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now this guy stands at... Uh, just under four inches tall. It's like three and seven eighths inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other Star Wars three and three quarter inch figures. And he does come with one accessory. And this is probably the most interesting part about this figure is the accessory. And that is his pants, which you can remove. And I'll kind of hide the, the secret here in a second. They are, you know, fairly well detailed here on the front and then on the back. They have these huge slits in them so that you can um, easily get them on to the figure. They are very rubbery and it's very easy to actually get these um, onto the figure itself. One thing I will say as well is that the um, sort of cloak here does cover up the back of the pants. So when they're on the figure, you can't even tell um, that they're removable. When you flip the figure around, you find out the secret of this figure, which I think is the funniest part. And that is that he has these little robot legs. And you would think that these are like, you know, some sort of like he had some sort of amputation. Uh, but no, they're actually like stilts. They're robo stilts. You can see his little feet here. So if you can imagine, this guy would only be like this tall without the uh, robo stilt legs, which is hilarious. Uh, really, really funny detail. I don't know if this was from the original uh, Star Wars uh, like artwork or, or what, but it's, it's uh, really a, a funny touch that I think makes this figure much more interesting. Now, as far as articulation on this figure goes, it is very basic. He's got a swivel here at the head, which allows you to kind of, you know, make him look side to side. He does have swivel shoulders that do swivel 360 on both sides. Let's see, does he have a, yeah, he does have a waist swivel as well. And then there are swivels at the hips. Um, so overall, what do I think of this guy? Um, you know, frankly, I, I think it's a pretty niche character. Um, you know, with the, you know, he's, he, this is nobody's favorite character, I would probably say. Uh, but they did do a nice job with the paintwork, and I think the figure itself um, is sort of hilarious and well done. And if you're like me and you're into um, collecting sort of background characters or you're looking into making a cantina display, I think that this is a figure that is worth uh, picking up, especially because you can usually get these for fairly cheap. Now, if none of those things interest you, this is definitely a figure that I think you can pass on just because it is incredibly obscure and it's not the most exciting overall. So anyway, if you guys have any comments or questions, please throw them down in the comment section below and I guess I'll see you later.